Okay. It's picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Just finished up those two rooms. So we are gonna head on down these stairs and see what else is going on. Wait. Uh, okay. I know that we're supposed to be going deeper. Oh, I can avoid a lot of stuff. That's good. Oh, there's a sparkly bit. I know we're supposed to be going deeper to find something that Melia is looking for. Not sure exactly what. My whole doctor thing didn't turn out well. Ah, attack. You can't catch me. This is probably going to kill me in the long run, but that's alright. These things haven't been all that difficult so far. Oh, okay. Oh, he can kick. Oh. The likes of you will not stop me. Didn't know you could actually change your attacks by the direction of the stick. I won't let anyone down. That's kind of cool. Learning a little bit more each time I play. All right, I'll figure it out sometime. More poop. See, that one makes sense because the poop could have came from above. The slide down. Huh? Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Nope. Wait, I'm gonna have to fight you because that's not a door. <laughs> Give me a heal. I didn't use the right button. Oh. That's okay. He's still one. See, I thought this was a door. It is not a door. This is a door. <laughs> Just don't mind me. I'm going into another zone where you can't follow. What is that? Telescope? A Spyrex weapon. Oh no. I knew it. Dun dun dun. The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. It's coincidence. Purely coincidence. Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. So this is what humans call irony. Naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Hello. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? I'm, I'm just speechless, kind of watching what's going on here. Uh oh. What are you doing here? You are really starting to make me angry! Creepy girl in red. She's back. Okay, there. That looks like more of a gun now. What the heck's going on? Oh, are you insane? Don't you know this is going to drain you too? <laughs> yeah, she's You're she's stable. It, it's worth it. It's acting directly on her manor lobes. This wasn't part of the plan, but it's nothing I can't deal with. Okay, well, deal with it. Are you gonna try and stop it? Do you know what you're doing? That's it. Mila, look down. Uh, okay. Stop. 
or you'll be dragged in with it. Huh? Did they make a black hole machine? Establish that. Take Mila and then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do? Okay. Now they talk to me. Well, how am I supposed to get her and run when you just threw me away? Right. Dude, you, you failed. You're supposed to take her and run. I don't think that's water. Oh, she's screwed. I can't handle water. It kills me. Alright. Maybe not. Okay. What? Okay, that was just the... Apparently that was just the, uh, intro to the game? So now we're actually getting into the heart of the matter here. Well, first impressions is I'm really already enjoying it. Just for the fact that it has anime cutscenes is great. It's been a long time since I've had something. Uh, yeah, something with anime cutscenes that have been done well. The voice acting is pretty good too, actually. Usually it's a fault. Ah, okay, so music's going. Hope that doesn't ping me for uh yeah, problems. We've got guns. Chick with a weird puppet. And an old man. I think we have all the stereotypes for the typical anime structure, so we're good. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get into this. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't show me all the good stuff now. I hope they're not. I hope these aren't like actual scenes later on in the game. Because that kind of ruins it. Hopefully it's just uh, completely different from other cutscenes we'll see later on. Game over, guys. That was it. Oh, m no, never mind. You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. Ah, I thought I said so that right. you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you going to do now? Her hair looks remarkably unwet. There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Okay. Wait. Maybe not. Event list updated. Party members changed. Oh, yep, party member changed. I meant to actually push after Melia. Okay. Let's go after Melia. Really? Mila! How oh, foolish, Mila. Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? Cahoots. There's a word. Love that word. Cahoots. Oh, great. Now she's gambling. What? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the four's power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. 
Okay, now we got. Come quietly, or else. I can't believe I'm doing what this. What did he just ask her to do? Um. All right. Okay. Free run. Come on. I blocked it. Over already? Okay, that's better. No, I can actually play instead of just watching her kill things. <sighs> What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Just remain Listen, back. You'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. And you have my the affection. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven. You have no clue where the Sea Haven is, do you? I can tell in her face. You don't know where it is, do you? Yeah. This way. No clue whatsoever where that was. Um, I'm sorry to have put you in oh. this situation. It's okay. Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. The Sea Haven is on the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. <laughs> if you push really slow, it makes him do a weird jitter. Let's see if we can get it to happen again. Aww. Okay. Let's check what this uh, sparring time is. You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, you know. I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. <laughs> so it's probably thanks to her. I see. Wait, her? I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. You're getting beat I'm up by a girl? I'm sorry to up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? Don't bully kids. Bullying's bad. All right. Okay, let's see what we're uh, doing again. We are heading to... This... Nope. We are heading to... The harbor. I think it's this way. There's whispers We can only on. get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Tallum Medical School. Creepy. Strange little whispers going on. Stop whispering! Right. Head towards the harbor. I think the harbor is not that way. Oh, harbor's that way. It's behind me. This way. No, that's high road. How did I get high road mixed up with harbor? Uh, entrance. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh. It's the only direction I haven't been, so we'll go this way anyways. We need... Okay, that's not the right way. Well, at least we'll find out what the right way is by just meandering directionlessly. Maybe it's this way. Ah, must be this way. After crossing the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. Oh, cool. If a freed were here, I'd never have to be drenched like this. I swear I'm hearing whispers. It's creeping me out. It's like... Dingy! Oh, wait, no. You two! Stop right there! Uh huh? What's going on? Doctor? Dr. Jude? From a medical school? Mr. Eldon? Is that you? Hey, I fixed her. 
your whatever. What's going on here? I'll pick something of yours. I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her, too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary. But I don't want to hurt you. Let's see you try, no, old man. Wait, just Come on. Hold on a minute. We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, don't you raise your weapon so against me. That. It looks like they're not listening. Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Just look the other way, dude. Jude, look the other way. I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Go on, get her. Whoa. That was kind of cool. But you missed. Wait. Oh, oh, it's the horn. The. This is goodbye, Jude. Forgive me for all of this. Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. Um. It's just that I just wanted to run. Whoa. Hello. Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh, who are you? Save the chit chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I. What, you Listen, telling me to go close, kid? The military issued your warrants, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you are an ex marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face execution. All right, time to run. That's all I need to know. Flee like a little girl. Come on. Hey, it's not cool. Put me down. I hope you're sturdier than you look. Okay, apparently he's running quicker than. What's be going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. We were just getting out of their way. <laughs> That's a good Come response. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? Um. It's Alvin. Huh? That's and the chipmunks. Name. You said that you're Jude, right? No, just Alvin. Uh, yes, sir. And this is Mila. Hang in there, kid. That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? Well, we did jump onto his what boat. What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. And there's that. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Ajusas. Look, we're leaving Fenmon's spirit climb. What the heck? You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? So confused again. Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? I'm not gonna pay you. Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Yeah, I have no money. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Ha <laughs> ha. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? Nope. Nothing on me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. Well, there is something I can think what of. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier. Okay. But you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. 
We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, uh -huh. well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. He plays a cool, charity work. Cool guy. Wonderful. Are we there yet? I think there's more to him, though. I mean, what was he doing in that place in the first place? Because he was down there in the research lab with us. Okay. Okay. We must be in Arjusas or or Ojule or whatever that was. It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is Ajul. hardly what I'd call exotic. How does that Ajul? Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. <laughs> Mr. Kid's got the right idea. Brave kid. The way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, Seriously, right? Seriously, how old is she he supposed to be? insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. No, I, I don't want to put on a brave Either face. Way, you just he's got me... still acting like an adult. North of here. Got me in trouble if I go back and get, get killed. So why hmm. not follow you? So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with the sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? The four? Oh. Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. Oh, so you great. won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, there's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. Oh boy. Now to find random missions. Or quests. Money making jobs. So I can pay my mercenary. A sub event occurs when you speak with a character marked with a ah! mark above their head. Complete sub events to receive gold and items. Seek these people out whenever you arrive in town. All right. Event list. Find a job. Okay. Well, looks like we got another little discussion there called the Calamity Key. But for now, I think that's a good place to stop. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta.